The quantum industry have a wide range of customers, including large companies like Google and IBM, as well as hundreds of startup companies. And these startup companies does not have a large amount of capital, try to do tests and measurements, uh, or they have time to wait uh, for the long lead time to get piece of capital equipment to validate their process. So form factors role in this quantum uh, supply chain is really to provide twofold. One is uh, the product itself, uh, the system, uh, as well as test services to allow these startup companies or any researchers to be able to collect the critical information as quickly as possible without a significant amount of capital spending up front. The breadth of services that we provide is everything from individual customized measurement of a, of a process of an individual device characteristic up through wafer scale testing where you're getting incredible amounts of data to get statistics on processes and controls and yields very quickly. And everything in between is giving the sort of full breadth of service to our customers that'll allow them to, to access data that they need to continue their development and, and make crucial decisions on changes and improvements to their processes. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're making available two major pieces of capital equipment. Um, that typically come along with a very high capital cost. The two pieces of instrumentation that we're making available are the cryogenic wafer prober and also the uh, an ADR cryostat. So the cryogenic wafer prober is a way to basically look at devices um, at a cryogenic temperature like four Kelvin, and from there you can measure all your devices right on wafer. So that allows researchers to avoid what they have typically done in the past, which is dice up the wafer, wire bond it, package it, and instead you can just measure devices right on the wafer, find your known good die, and then use that down selection process to load up the best devices into your dilution refrigerator. The ADR cryostat um, is another way of pre-testing or pre-screening devices uh, at millikelvin temperatures to again select the best device that would go into the dilution refrigerator. So we really have two options depending upon the type of test and measurement that somebody might be looking to do, um, either at the wafer level or at the die level in a millikelvin environment. Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm a mechanical engineer here at Form Factor. This is the IQ3000. It's a 4K wafer prober. It specializes in bringing devices from fabrication into the lab for testing more quickly because you don't need to do any post-processing before getting to testing. The system can handle 150 millimeter wafers as well as 200 millimeter wafers and even diced or fragments of wafers with some adaptation. The process time for the wafer in the system is about an hour. The wafer is brought straight from 300K onto the 4K truck and cools down to temperature in about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on wafer size. It's also great that this system is totally dry. We don't use any cryogens as consumables, just recirculated helium gas. And so you're operating much more cheaply, about $10 an hour in electricity. You also don't have to worry about the reliability of liquid helium supply for it. Our next steps with the system are to expand the size so that we can accept 300 millimeter wafers and lower the temperature down to 2 Kelvin to open up more possibilities and capabilities for the system. So that's a little bit about the IQ3000. Thanks for visiting. Hello, my name is Brandon Boyko. I'm a senior applications engineer at Form Factor. If we step over here, we can see an example of an ADR cryostat. This is a system capable of getting down to millik temperatures for rapid testing in the quantum community. So this right here is an ADR insert. This device allows you to get down to millik temperatures within about 24 hours. Uh, we actually have a system that's cold right now. Let's go over and talk about that. So this is an example of a system that's cold right now. Inside of it will be the, the cryostat and the ADR insert. And actually what's cold right now is a real quantum chip. Uh, this system is available for test services and it allows our customers to test with qubit devices right now. We want to make sure that we're aligned with quantum developers. We want to make sure that we have the tools that are going to be needed by the marketplace for the next three to five years. And the only way to do that is to interact very closely with the quantum marketplace. So again, developing deep customer relationships, working very closely with people to develop test plans ensures that not only are they educated and prepared to scale, 
but that also our technology is going to be there to enable the future roadmap of quantum computing.